story. The RNC have now concluded an investigation at the courthouse in Cornerbrook earlier this morning. Police say that no threat was discovered at the site. The investigation into the source of the information is ongoing. Earlier this morning, the building was evacuated and people were asked to avoid the area as officers investigated a reported threat. In other news, the national and provincial unemployment rate is down. Canada added 154,000 jobs in November, dropping the unemployment rate by 0.8%. In Newfoundland and Labrador, employment rose by 9,100. This was the first notable increase since March of 2021. And the same low that brought stormy weather to Quebec and Ontario this weekend is now moving toward Newfoundland and Labrador. The low is expected to bring snow to most of Labrador and rain to Newfoundland. All areas will see strong winds. More details are coming up in your weather forecast, which is coming up right after this. We were getting married in the most beautiful rural setting. My mom got sick and couldn't be with us for our big day. I was heartbroken. Thankfully, we discovered ExploreNet. They responded right away and connected us to high-speed internet. Our big day was incredible because it felt like mom was there. ExploreNet. Connect to what matters. We are dealing with some unsettled weather as we take a look at your weather forecast. Literally every area in Newfoundland and Labrador is under a weather warning of some kind. We'll start out with the wind warnings that are in effect. Uh, wind warnings are in effect for the entirety of the island portion of the province and for uh, southeastern Labrador. And there's also a wind warning and a wreck house wind warning for Channel Portobas and vicinity. Uh, for the island in southeastern Labrador, winds may gust to 100 kilometers tonight and tomorrow. And uh, we could see gusts up to 120 in the wreck house area. Then there's also snowfall warnings, winter storm warnings, rainfall warnings, and storm surge warnings in effect for uh, Labrador and uh, portions of western and southern Newfoundland. So areas in Labrador under a snowfall warning uh, could see about uh, 10 to 20 centimeters. The 20 centimeters will be over higher terrain. That's the areas that is shaded in white. And uh, areas that's shaded in blue, that's the winter storm warning. We could see 20 centimeters of snow and winds gusting to 60. And then in Newfoundland, we've got a couple of rainfall warnings on the south coast. Uh, 50 to 90 millimeters of rain is expected, uh, 30 to 50 for the Canagra area. And uh, we do have a storm surge warning in effect for uh, Port Saunders and the Straits and also for uh, southeastern Labrador. Uh, in those areas, we could see waves anywhere from 5 to 7 meters breaking upon the shore tonight into tomorrow. There's also a special weather statement in effect for Cornerbrook and Grosse Morne, uh, where we're expecting to see large waves and pounding surf along with ele elevated sea levels. So obviously tonight, tomorrow going to be very unsettled. So the forecast now tonight for Newfoundland, uh, we are looking at a chance of showers in St. John's and an overnight low of zero. It will be windy as well. Gander tonight getting down to minus four. We'll see snow to start. The snow will transition over to ice pellets and, uh, and uh, rain before morning. The winds will be gusting to 80. And in Cornerbrook tonight, minus two will be the low. We are going to see snow. The snow will change to ice pellets and it will change to uh, rain or potentially freezing rain depending on the temperature. The winds will be south at 90. So Cornerbrook tonight, uh, if we do see ice pellets and we do see freezing rain, there is the potential that we could see some power outages as well. The forecast now for tomorrow starting in Labrador, it is going to be a blustery day. Name tomorrow getting up to minus two with snow and blowing snow expected. As we head south, uh, Happy Valley Goose Bay tomorrow, we are looking at ice pellets and uh, potentially some snow as well, windy conditions. And as we head out to Western Labrador, uh, minus seven will be, will be the high in Labrador City. We're looking at some flurries and we will see some blowing snow as well. Moving on now to the island portion of the province, it is going to be unsettled in Newfoundland tomorrow as well. Uh, for the uh, West Coast, we are looking at uh, rain and strong winds. 
Places such as Cornerbrook, though, uh, we are going to see rain tomorrow, but by the time we get to tomorrow evening, temperatures will fall and that rain may change back to snow. Central Newfoundland tomorrow, we are looking at uh, some rain and some strong winds, a similar story on the south coast with heavy rain expected. And uh, for the Avalon tomorrow, we're going to see some rain as well and some strong winds. So the extended forecast now for your Tuesday in St. John's, we are looking at rain and a high of 13. The winds will be southwest gusting to 100 with about 5 millimeters of rain expected. Uh, for Wednesday, we're looking at cloudy skies and one, potentially another storm on the way for Thursday with some snow and some windy conditions and a daytime high of one. As we head into central Newfoundland tomorrow, Gander will see about 5 millimeters of rain and uh, the winds will be southwest gusting to 110 at times. Temperatures really cool down on Wednesday. A mix of sun and cloud and minus one. Thursday, even colder, minus four and some, some snow is possible. And then as we head out to Corner Brook, we're looking at 10 millimeters of rain for tomorrow. Gusty winds from the south gusting to 100 and a high of 12. As we head through your Wednesday, flurries of minus 5. Thursday, some snow is expected and a daytime high of minus 5. That is the latest news and weather forecast. Now you can check out newfoundnews.ca for more.